What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy 16 again. And this is part 7 of me playing it. So in the last video, the guy that we saw, he's gay. Yeah, he was gay. I didn't see it because I was looking on Google on how long you could record on OBS. And it turns out you can record for as long as you want. 2 hour, 3 hour, 4 hour, 5. I could do that. But... I think today I'm probably just gonna record for a regular two hour video or maybe if I want to I'll do three So anyways, there's we have a gay guy now. I see why it's banned in the UAE Before I thought it was for a stupid reason, but no now I see why Anyways, we're back home out of the shadows <sighs> I'd better give Otto the good news. Yeah, as soon as I get my light. Is it business or pleasure? Finished, are you? What do you need? What do you want? That it? Yeah, hold on one second. I just need wait first before I. Alright, let's go check on auto. Stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto, any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Willudas. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waludas must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? 
One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Right, first, let me just do something real quick. I'm back. plays with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Huh? Don't just stand there, go. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kupka is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Huh? A new beginning under a new Sid. 
I'll try to live up to the name. Back are you? What do you want? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Anything else? Seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. He... Oh, my. Can it really be true? <laughs> yep. Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates, after Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Hugo Kutka is dead. Hold on one second. Good news, I only have 13 hours left until I beat this game, so maybe I might make this video three hours long. You came home. Have you even got you running air rooms or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down in that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it.
come up with something soon. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. Mm. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to <laughs> this at a time. <laughs> and you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? Out with it. It's for mid. Is this my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged? I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. for but I can make it won't be easy though and I'll need help get Gavin Otto in here will you all right so Liz roped us all in here again isn't she typical still if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. 
Well, make your minds up who's going where, and we can get this over with. Looks like we got a quest to do. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Gav, you're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You two, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him dry. <laughs> In your own time. Okay. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? There's Gav. quick scout about and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it though I asked over in Dallamil and they seem to think it was worthless but if stardust is what Blackthorn wants stardust is what he'll get there's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged then let's get bagging shall we we shall race ya No, there it is.
There it is. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. Might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? <sighs> Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway <sighs> nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. I now have a headset dent over here. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? This is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Or it beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Now I have enough for something. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shout if you need anything.
A crystal too? You're joking. It's not a joke. Drake's fan is gone. If I don't come up with something soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans, then. Here you see the Mithril engine, in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. New quest. Good day to you. Sid. Can I interest you in today?
Good day. Let me, I want to know if I can rent out a chocobos. So, I think I'm gonna like... Okay, I guess I can't do it here. Sid, um, thanks so much for coming. <laughs> the, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Oh, not you. Be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. I'm battle I'm fighting a flying Mike Wazowski. I mean like it's literally it's literally Mike Wazowski.
The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him, see what he makes of it? Right away. I think Mid might need some help. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... Pitch. Hmm. I see. Early Gregorian histories 
speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Time to get this material. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Joe. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Chilled. I won't have you spoiling another carriage. Are those pepio nuts? How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the Fresh cunts! Come and get them before they're gone. What can I interest you in today? Ah, oh, yes. Keep fighting the good fight. Oi, don't touch anything. Go on. Take it. 
If that's what you want. Good riddance. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. And what can I do for you? You've a keen eye. I'll be here if you need me. Did you find everything? I did. Here. <laughs> Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now, all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here... ...reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember... ...walking down Market Street in Rosalith... ...taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. Oh, mm. right. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just. Oh. Are you alright? <laughs> Sorry. It's just. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Curse! Come on! Well... I suppose we best be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. Take care. I will. You too. Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. 
and thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the Moondew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. Mm -hmm. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Quest complete. to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! Uh, I'm smiling because I'm remembering this thing that I did in school where I said it hurt me deep and the other one said, they're over deep! And then we just started screaming. You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo -dars. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. Sometimes later. Ah, it's that big. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. Ah. Oh, sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Ah, oh, thank God. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Hey? 
What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. Yes, he would. He yes, would. he would. You were going to visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. It told me she was building a ship. All right, Clive. Astrid. We'd finished sending half the hideaway tropes in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? What? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. Oh, crap. Is that the thing Tomes helped? Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and again I can't read. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. It uh seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in and all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. 
Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Okay. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. the phoenix can't be in two places at once if he'd have been with us maybe he could have done something for the lost not even the phoenix can bring people back from the dead life has a beginning and an end so we must live while we have the chance As slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. Yep. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> Wait, you're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great loot. <laughs> 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 the 
There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots's traders pass and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> He's happy. Well, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? No, you're not. Do you see that, Sid? Your protégé's making a proper little outlaw of himself. First, so let me check something. Well guys, I just checked how long I have until I beat the game and then I only have 12 hours left. Wait first. And 65% and 28 hours. Onward. Okay. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. Now, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I want to learn how to get a chocobo, so I'll be right back. Well, guys, I got me a chocobo. And it turns out this was the choc. This was the chocobo from last time. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've done the Republic a service. I see the Dalnex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Enough of you are there. Oh hey, I've seen this before. I was wondering what that was. Now let's see what it actually is. Maybe get my reaction. <laughs> the final sin. Okay. So this is a Megas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by Arthas and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> if 
scythe. Hmm. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered. I don't like this guy because he's gay. I like him because he's gay. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Yeah, I don't like Dion. He's gay. Hugo Kupka is dead. And Drake's fang destroyed the pillars of the republic have fallen ere long the imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm and then valisthea all shall bow before their emperor father these are the words of a tyrant they are the words of a god the Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? <laughs> 
I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Ah, the sun. Ow. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. I know what to do. Come on. Yeah. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. More refugees. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. I ain't got time for this. No need to ride from here. Hmm. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, Nothing. Okay. Ooh, that actually looks good. How much for a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. I am more than welcome to look. I could actually. Wa I actually want that. Maybe later. I'll make it. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. <coughs> We won't get through without that pass. <laughs> Let's go and find good, shall we? <sighs> he must be around here somewhere. Come taste my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. I'll take the large one. <laughs> oh, good. There you are. I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I've got a pal in Bokladu who might be able to help us. 
No one knows more about what goes on around here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. I really want to be as relaxed. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. O's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? Mm -hmm. You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries... <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience. 
But if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would reap would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. Oh. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter. ...from a whore who weighed her child's worth in Gil. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear... ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Of course. Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. Uh. Oh, tongue witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready. Your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. I don't want to see his gay ass anymore. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the Crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored.
Let's go. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty. And half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What's happening? I don't know. Toggle! I thought I scratched my eye. This way. Fire in the sky. The city's on fire. I'm sure Goots is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Oh. Those were Imperial Dragoons. <clears throat> what in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. Down. 
What? How? Damn it. into a sewer. There it is. The bell tower. Right. Let's go. Oh, 
Yay.
Ai. Can you see him anywhere? <laughs> Afraid I need you. This is perfect.
something in store for us. Get ready to move.
There. Get out of here. Okay, we gotta stop him. Joshua! Your Highness, don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yud, but I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! So cool. Ah. Why does this remind me of Frozen? But all those seriously, that was actually pretty cool. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. Yep, let's do it now. We might come back. And I'll continue recording tomorrow. Because soon I'll probably have like 10 hours left so I beat the game. So I'll, so I'll do like 3 hours of part of the... I'll do 3 hours, 2, 2, and 3. Because I want to make a final part 3 hours long. And now this video is going to be 3 hours. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nana'd never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Alright. Before we do this, I want to go to the bathroom. I'm back. Let's go. 
Let's do this. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Let's do this. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. So the first, so I'll start by making a three hour video, then a two hour, and then another two hour, and then another three hour. I did the math right because ten, because a ten hour. Because see, basically, basically like this. Three, two, get five. All right? And two and three, five. So that basically makes a ten. Like if you combine a five and five together, ten. And that's how I got the math right. All thanks to school. And I graduated just for that. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned for Then there's no reason to hold back. I know. That's better.
Joshua! Is that yes. Phoenix. That's your brother. Let's go after my brother that I haven't seen in years. We have to save him. And we will. We just need to keep moving. We will destroy the crystal later. Now we're gonna save my brother. Not now. Not stop until everyone, every single one of us is dead. There he is. This one. Joshua, I'm here, brother. Right. He can't hear you. Joshua. They're heading for the heart. We have to destroy it. And so should we. Okay, I'll just get like 200 more for that. We don't have time for this. Yeah, well, we can't get through until we beat that. Yeah. 
What kind of a what kind of a reaction was that? Those the council chambers. How are they still standing? I don't know. <sighs> He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. You've got to be kidding. It looks like somebody to someone is getting any closer. Clearly. What it wants. Neither do I.
There. And we just leveled up. Getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on the heart. The heart. Hold on a second. All right, let's get this. Now let's go to the heart with no interruptions. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. Yeah. Quiet. There's someone up there. 
someone there? Uh. It's you. What happened here? He, he tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. My darling. Darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! Oh! Answer him! Whittle you in, savage. Show some respect for those who raised you! <sighs> Honorable Elwyn. Always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix! You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring. And yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh! Hey. How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Your own son is alive! <laughs> the reunite! The reunion! The reunion! Joshua! Wake up! <sighs> I'm a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Afraid? Time for another god battle. Woo 
<laughs> this boss here can be one of my favorite videos. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to destroy the heart. What is it doing? It turned into a flower? Huh. Yes. How am I gonna fight him up there? Joshua! No! Leave my alone! That's what I want to hear. I gotta try that.
Shit. Can't reach him. No, we cannot. Don't do this. Joshua, please don't. I lost you once and I... I lost you once and I don't want to lose you again. Okay, that's it. Now you're gonna pay. Do I get to play the Phoenix? I'll come back for you. Yep, I get to play the Phoenix. Again. I'm back. Alright. So, L is to move and aim. At triangle is to fire charge. And you can hold it to... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it now.
lightning and thunder. Those things are drawing in more ether than I've ever seen. I need a frit. I need a frit. Yeah. This is third time score. Come on, 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 come on.
This is so cool. This is so cool. Bye bye. <sighs> uh, I already been here for three hours. <sighs> Wait, you're telling me after all that, all I get is a hundred? Really? Wait, how is he still alive? The heart! Destroy it! This is drinking the ether. We have to stop him. We're too late. Ah! Yes! This one. Now let's kill that gay guy. Now I'm gonna kill that gay guy Cause I don't allow gay people on my YouTube channel Are you ready? Yes That's all. What that? Oh. Oh, we get the play as it. Nice.
Alright, let's see the grand finale. Oh, come on. have to kill him Not today Come on Joshua Come on. Okay, now that's better. Destroy it! Quickly! Dion. No, let him die. No, oh, come on, let him die. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. That's just nice. Reunited at last. Yes. That's what I keep asking. Jill. <laughs> oh, 
come on, let him die. It is done. Now die. The die. Demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Die. Father. Die. Yeah. Finally. No gay people allowed in my uh, YouTube channel. The Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. The debt is dead. Fine. Yes, yes. Die, 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 die. Die. He's dead. Yay. No gay guys allowed. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Dion. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. I want you to find out Make sure the door doesn't move. Uh, by the light. Dion. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. <sighs> he just doesn't care! I am here to save you, father. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him!
For every citizen who falls, another can This is now bread. probably going to be four hours long, so every home, I'm going to try to edit it to make it at least Those three. Your words. But when the last I want this to actually be a three hour fallen, video. And all of their homes have been reduced to ash. What will become of your empire? Of its rulers? Of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. Down. Down. And look at that kid's face. He just doesn't give enough. Doted on his children. Okay, yeah, there's a reason why I kill him. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? Yes, he did. You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. There was a reason why you killed him. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. And then he died, the kid died, and everyone died. Except for Clive, Jill, Joshua, and Brother? Togel. It's a long story. He's dead. And the mother does not want anything to do with it. You cannot stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Get away from me! Oh. This is all just a dream, just a bad dream. She crazy. You will not take me, Shadow. You will not take me! Do it. I don't even like you anyway. <laughs> this just took a left. This just took a massive turn. Mother is dead.
if it is consciousness that weaves your wills together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Twin Your flame. Majesty. What Bennett? Shall become our Okay, I think we should be good. Vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away. May Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind Come on, I want to end the video. Of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. We should be fine now. Okay, finally, we made it here. So anyways, guys, yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.